Today we're opening blister packs from Walmart. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, our first opening video of 2022. We also have an epic giveaway, I'll be giving away this Dark Magician Arcana Art and the Dark Magician Girl from Premium Pack for OCG. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your goals for 2022. So one of you guys hit me up and said that you had a ton of these blister packs. So I said, okay, yeah, send them over. I will buy these things. This is only a fraction of the ones he sold me. So we will have a lot of these epic videos coming up. But today we have today we have six of these single legacy packs. Then we have like six of these triple packs, which can contain Toon Chaos first edition, which is pretty cool. Or maybe it's unlimited. I, I can't even tell, but that's a Toon Chaos, I think. So three packs per thing. And there's also a foil card, which I'm sure will be really bad, but it'd be fun if it was something cool. So overall, it's 24 packs. And I know you guys love this kind of opening and I really enjoy doing it too so i figured why not open some of these to start off the new year let's see what random packs we will get out of these mystery blisters from target it's pretty exciting so our first item a gen x ally changer not that exciting but when our packs are Toon Chaos, Invasion of Chaos, and Soul Fusion First Edition, I mean, this is not First Edition, that's a pretty good three packs. So I think that this is going to be a pretty amazing opening. Let's start off with the Soul Fusion. There are a lot of good cards in here, like some Dangers. There is the uh, Thunder Dragons. I believe you can get the Common Pancratops. A lot of cool stuff. So let's see what we can get. Galaxy Brave, Asanado. Fright for Patchwork is a... Okay, it's just a rare, so... Galaxy Eye Solar for the love Solar Flare Dragon already messing up what we're saying. That is a nice ultra rare. Very good start to our opening. We will take that. And then we got Patchwork Fluffle and the current. Next up, let's try the Toon Chaos. Can we get a collector rare first edition? That'd be actually crazy out of one pack. Let's see if we can do it though. We might have a few of these in today's video, so maybe we will actually get one. Let's see. Blackluster Soldier. Fry for Meister. Okay, so not in that pack, but maybe we will get one in the next one. Now we have Invasion of Chaos. You guys know what we want here. We have pulled the Blackluster Soldier before, but that doesn't mean we don't want to pull it again. We could also pull it Collector Rare, so we could pull it Ultra Rare and Collector Rare in the same video. That would be pretty cool. Grand Maju de Aiza, Heart of the Underdog. Be gone, Knave. And the Mad Dog of Darkness. Very nice. So a good start on the Blister. We did get an Ultra Rare. Next, let's go into a Pharaoh Servant single legacy pack. If you guys have ever opened any of these packs, let me know your best pull like you've ever pulled out of these because there's been some, I mean, they've been around for a long time, but they're still really exciting to find in stores if you can. I didn't find these myself, but someone had been collecting these, he said, for a while. He, th he thought he was going to start a YouTube channel. Magic Drain, very nice. Uh, so he, he decided not to do that. So he decided he would sell them to me instead. So, you know, I could get some content out of it, which is really cool. And I love these. Like, these are one of my favorite videos to do in terms of openings. So when he said he had a bunch of these, I was like, yes, please. Then we have Worm Opera. We've got a lot of great promos so far. Okay, this time we got another Toon Chaos. We got a Dual Overload. Whoa, that's actually a good pack. That's uh, that's our Legacy pack, but still really cool. That's a really good set. Let's see what we can pull out of there. There's a lot of cards I've been needing recently that come from there. So maybe we will uh, get the ones that I don't have. We got a Predator Plast, we got a Dino Wrestler, Galaxy Brave, Orchestrated Babble, Necro Valley Throne. Then we have Concentrating, Stegosaur, and uh, we got the uh, Salaman Great Falco. Very cool. Now we go into the Toon Chaos. I, I will go crazy if we pull a first edition collector rare. That would be so cool. Chaos Sorcerer. We got the Solid Soldier. I love that guy from Duel Links. Gemini. We got another Fright for Meister. A Pot of Desires is pretty good. We'll take that out. And then uh, number 68. What does this say? Level uh, level 8. Yeah, I think I use this in Duel Links for a little bit. Now a Duel Overload. It's been a while. I opened 576 packs of this uh, with Chelsea. I believe it was a video. It wasn't a live stream. That's how nuts we were. That took forever. Uh, we did that together, and that was the last time I opened the set, I think. So it's been a while. All right, Abyss Actor, Hyper Director. I still have, like, half of my bulk from opening that because I just didn't sell it because I know it's a lot of good cards. A uh, Hollow Giants. We got the uh, Ballista. I think I sold out of those. Fuma. Okay, I think I have a lot of those left. And the Cubic Dharma. So nothing too crazy, but still a lot of cool cards. Back to our Legacy Pack. Let's go Pharaoh's Servant. Can we pull the Jinzo? I am okay with that. So we have Pharaoh's Servant Booster Pack. Flame Champion. One of my favorite artworks from Pharaoh's Servant. Bombardment Beetle. What is the short print in the real, um, you know, the original set? Not the reprint. Not real. I mean, they're both real. Oh! A thousand eyes restrict. Oh my goodness. Talk about an amazing pull. Probably like the second best pull out of the set. Just look at the reprints though. Don't they? They just look weird. I don't know what the deal with it is. It almost looks like it, like the coloring is like faded a little bit. It is a little weird, but either way, thousand eyes restrict is an amazing pull. I'm really excited about that. And an appropriate, we got a Skull Mariner, Wing Weaver, and Solomon's Law Book. Wow, that's a good start here. Back to our Triple Blister. I'm actually really enjoying these. I didn't realize the packs would be this good. They're kind of old, I think. Maybe that's why. I mean, because like Soul Fusion was probably kind of a garbage pack at that point. Maybe it was 
like right after something got uh, banned or something. I'm not sure. Oh, we've got a Dragoonity Javelin. Isn't this from like a deck or something? No, it's from Hidden Arsenal 4. That's even worse. <laughs> That's even less valuable. We got a Tune Chaos. Ugh. Speed Duel. So we started with Invasion of Chaos. That was great. Then we got Duel Overload. Still pretty good. And then we get a Speed Duel. Yeah, let's. I'm not gonna bash the speed duel, but you you guys know it's not the best. Uh, oh, get an ultra rare though. Maybe that's the key. Just talk about how bad it is. You remember Cold of the Duelist? We'd say, wow, what a terrible set, and then Firewall would pop out Every, like two or three times that happened. That was insane. Okay, let's do the Soul Fusion. Soul Fusion seems to be the the constant, so I guess they had way too much of this. Salaman Great Jack Jaguar. We got the World Dino Wrestling. We got the Invincibility Barrier. Uh, Alvel Alvis. We got the uh, Headman. And the Vector Blast. Okay, Eternal Galaxy. Those feel like European cards, and I'm pretty sure that the crimp on the pack was like that too. What in the world? What is going on here? That's strange. Okay, Tomb Chaos. Give us a collector rare, or at least something. It's really, oh, a driver! I need this card, because somehow I don't have one of these. That's actually really cool. I somehow don't have a driver, and by the way, I finally learned you do need to play this with the, uh, with the Gamma, so yeah, if I... Meister again? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. I consider this video a success because I needed that Cypher and Driver. I know it's like eight cents, but you guys know how it is when you have need an eight cent card and you have to like buy it off TCG player and pay like, you know, a dollar shipping. It just doesn't feel right. And you have to wait like a week to get an eight cent card. It just doesn't feel right. So the, being able to just pull it and have it is a lot easier. I like that better. Okay. Stone Ogre Grotto. Red Archery Girl. The Koto Dama. And a Banisher of the Light. Okay, these uh, reprint packs are doing pretty good for us. That's another foil. Is that two out of like three or something? Two out of three. Wow, we are doing really good. Flying Kamikiri, Luminous, and the Tailor of the Fickle. Very good opening so far. Very good. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are trying to get to... What are we trying to get to? 111111. We're getting kind of close. We're at 109,000 right now, so we're very close. Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying it. Triple Star and Trial. I don't know if I've ever seen this card, to be honest. Then we have... Oh, the complete series. Ah, I thought it was old. Okay, it's still cool. Oh, these are getting worse. Every time they're getting worse. Oh my goodness. Now Speed Duel in the complete series. I guess there is a few cool cards. I think Toon Kingdom's in there. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight is cool. Um, so, okay, that didn't work that time. Talking about how bad it was. So yeah, these blisters started off really nice, and now they're kind of like, eh, not too good. There is a lot of cards in here, though, which is cool. Snowplow, Hustle Rustle, Salt Dog, uh, Parasycroid, Gay Blocker, Toon Mask, cool. Die of Tomias. And Tomias and I Destiny. I think I had Tomias and Toon Mask is not a bad little pack there. Uh, Tyrant Burst Dragon, Shooting Star Dragon, and Battle Fusion. Okay, not the worst. On to the Sofu. Let's go. Let's pull something cool, like a Secret Rare. Or uh, we have not pulled a Pank yet as a common. So we'll see if we can get that World Wand. We got a Bookstone. Clock Spartoy. And Long Gearsu, the Orcus Orchestrator. All right, Long Gearsu, the Orcus Orchestrator. Very nice. Not a mouthful at all. We still have quite a few packs left. This is going to be not a long opening, but it's definitely not going to be short. So if you guys are enjoying this sort of blister pack from Target opening, then let me know because I do have some more, okay? Yeah, okay, I do, I do. Let's see, we're two for three out of these legacy packs. We have Grotto, Snake Fang, Mystic Plasma Zone, Horn of High Height, Horn of Height, not Light. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, four more packs. This one looks different. Mega Pack. This is a Mega Pack 20, is it 2018? Actually, I think I need a card out of 2018, now that I think about it. I need a Secure Gardener. <laughs> it's another another cheap card that I that I probably have, but I don't know where it is. There is a 2018. Dark Dragon Ritual. What is happening? Why am I so itchy? So we did get the 2018. We got a Dual Power. That's very cool. And so, okay, this is a pretty good pack. Let's start with the Dual Power. That's a pretty good uh, reprint set. It's before Dual Overload. So this is like the 2018 version. So this might be a very, very old uh, blister. It might have been sitting around for a while. Goki Jet Ogre. Preta Plant, uh, Orpheus, Aroma Seraphy Jasmine, I think I, didn't I see this was like four or five dollars, I think that's pretty good, Link Disciple, very cool, and Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon, okay, not the craziest pack ever there, but we do have Soul Fusion coming up, yet to give us anything really, so we're hoping that this will end that, we've had one every single time, is that a Soul Fusion, okay, Invincibility Barrier, a gave, Agave, a gave, Toll Hike, Thunder Dragon Fusion. We got another Thunder Dragon card. Very cool. Ultra Rare. Another Ultra. So, yeah, we did get the Ultra early on. So, we got two Ultras from there. Final Mega 10 pack. 2018. I Can we get the Secure Garden? I know it's a very cheap card, but I want... I think it might be a common in here. Backup Secretary. Self-Destruct Ant. Gravity Lash. I remember that card for some reason. Landmark. 
Amazon a spy. Come on, give us your garden. Lila, okay. Vindred Chimeras are secret rare. Mech Knight Spectre Supreme. And this was in that OC or that Chinese box that we opened for uh, with uh, M Cole recently. Alter Guys Camouflage. We've got the Flick Clown, of course, and Sniffer. Ah, no secure garden. Back to the Pharaoh's Servant. Here we go. For some reason, I'm extremely itchy right now. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't know what's going on. It's very annoying. But let's see if that will give us the power to pull. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's the tingle that we're about to pull a Genzo. Dun, dun, dun. You guys think that's what it is? Um, I mean, let me know in the comments. Probably not, but <laughs> Cyber Falcon. Invitation to Dark Sleep and the All-Seeing White Tiger, Dimensional. Okay, yeah, Kisa Tide, Dark Bat. Yeah, that's not the Jinzo. Final two blister packs. We have three more packs in here, and then we have the Pharaoh Servants. So let's open this up. Let's see what we can get. Can we get some good packs? Come on, don't give a Speed Duel. Please don't give a Speed Duel. I have a feeling it gave a Speed Duel. It feels very skinny. They gave a Speed Duel. Infinity Chasers. Oh, okay. Naturia Ant Jaw. All right, not the best. Let's start off with the Speed Duel because, you know, it, it's Speed Duel. We'll start off with the Speed Duel. We've got Infinity Dwarf, Infernity, I should say, and Mandragola. Let's go on to the Soul Fusion, and we will finish with the Infinity Chasers. This is a cool little reprint set. Not the best ever, but fairly cool. Let's see. We've got Predoplast, Crusadia Crawler, Orc Shredded Babble, and a Danger Mothman. Is a Mothman maybe worth something? I can't remember, but super rare. Finally, Infinity Chasers. Then we have one more Pharaoh's Servant Pack. Is the Secret right at the front? Okay, good. Uh, we'll do this just in case. Uh, Marshalling Field, Spin Turn, Arcanine Magician. Oh, no, it's not. The Witchcrafter Pator. Very cool. And the Wonder Wand. So it's a nice secret rare. I think this one's okay. I don't remember exactly how good it is, but I think it's all right. And the final pack of the video, Pharaoh's Servant. Here we go. We have the last pack of the opening. If you guys enjoyed this Target-ish opening, I didn't get them myself, but pretty sure that's where they came from, then hit the like button, subscribe for more epic content. Let's see if we can pull Jinzo to top it off. We already pulled Thousand Eyes, so we can't really ask for much more. Here we go. Harpy's brother and a forced requisition. Okay, we ended off a little slow, but that started off pretty nice. It was a pretty nice opening overall. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stone Info Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, Tech, Spanky McFarland, and G Raider. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.